Now, right from the lock screen, you can see here, this is a stock clock widget. And as you can see, as I move my phone, these moves around and it's a very cool animation. Now, instead of showing you guys, just install this app, install this launcher, so and so to get a Galaxy S8 experience, this is going to convert your phone completely into what the Galaxy S8 has. So let's get right into it. Now what happens is when I unlock, you see it has a new animation where everything flies in and that's a new weather widget right up there. I can pull to the side and I have Bixby and this is Bixby on the home page. I'm still useless stuff I think, I don't really like Bixby but that's how it is. It's here, it lives on the home page. At least a cool thing about this is you can actually send this away. I never like it so just go away Bixby. Hey guys, I want to cut this short here just to say some little things. Maybe I didn't mention the whole video. Um, how did I actually get this done? I got this done by using a custom ROM and the link will be down in the description. This process is not actually very difficult to do. It's easy and straightforward. And all the links to the tutorials on how to get this done will be in the description. It's not hard at all. And if you're really paranoid of having root and everything, there's still another process to revert and get you back your warranty if that's what you're worried about. But like I said, links in the description below. I still encourage people to root and run because of an app called Magisk. Magisk actually helps you pass safety net. This means that you can still have root, but yet have some apps like Snapchat, which detect root, um, Android Pay, which still detects root. You can have all those apps running on your device and you're still rooted and this is just the best of both worlds as you can see here what i actually did to get my safety net pass was just hiding my gist like it my gist hide but i can still use root at the same time like if i want to search like titanium backup you can see right there it's going to search for root and it says super user permissions have been granted so you can have root have Android Pay and all those banking apps you want working. They won't even know you're rooted. So that's why I still encourage guys to use root, especially if you're with Magis root. Swiping up reveals my apps and swiping up takes me back home again. Just a very cool gesture, but I think it was a waste by Samsung. They should have added something like pulling down for the notifications panel. But anyways, this is a Galaxy S7. I can just pull it down. But on Galaxy S8, it would have been cool to have a gesture pull down and just pull down your notification panel. You can see status bar icons here also look exactly like what's on Galaxy S8 because this ROM is a full port. Totally has everything that's on the Galaxy S8. Have your quick settings, nothing's changed here. You can also see the settings. The cool thing is this developer actually removed some features that were hardware based on Galaxy S8 like iris scanning and face scanning. Those are hardware features on Galaxy S8 and having them in Galaxy S7 is just not going to work because the Galaxy S7 doesn't have that hardware. So he took those out. And so in lock screen and security options, you can see here, you don't have face unlock or iris scanner. All those were taken off to avoid the hardware issues and limitations of a Galaxy S7. But you still have stuff like secure folder and he even added private folder, which was there before secure folder. And this app works very well. It's almost flawless, I can say, if not of some slight hiccups, but it's almost like what you have with a Galaxy S7 running Nougat. Now it has a huge battery drain, but a good thing about this is I found out what was draining the battery and this was actually using a um, GSAM battery monitor. As you can see here, um, the app that drains the battery most here is Dex Home. Yeah, Samsung Dex Home, that drains a lot of battery. So what happens is I go into Titanium Backup and all I do is simply delete this guy. Just delete it, just uninstall it and you'll be safe. You can do a backup just to make sure stuff runs after, but I just uninstalled it because the app is pretty much useless, but it drains my battery. And after doing that, reboot your device and you're good to go. Battery drain will be just very minimal, same as the Galaxy S7 running Nougat without any issues. So guys, that was it for this video. Another video coming up shortly about my setup that I'm running and this is not it guys. So if you like the video, please leave me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more videos coming up.